Hi, it's Rajin from Rocka Dog. I received a lot of messages from you about what dog breed you should get. And it's almost impossible for me to answer those questions because it's very hard and complex decisions. It depends on so many factors, but in this video, I will show you everything you need to consider before choosing a dog breed. At the end of the video, I will show some websites that can help you with this. And there will be a lot of things to consider, but don't worry, just take out some pen and make notes. When you are choosing a dog, it all starts with you. You must be 100% sure that you want a dog in your life because it's not a toy. You will have him for more than 10 years. Depends on a breed, but yeah, most dogs live more than 10 years. Okay, so now you are 100% sure. Now you need to be completely honest to yourself. How good are you with dogs? Some dogs are easily trainable, but some are really hard to train. If it will be your first dog, then you must get easily trainable breed, otherwise the dog will overwhelm you. Other things you should consider about yourself is how big is the place you are living in. Do you live in a big house or small apartment? Do you have a yard or not? Because there are dogs that cannot live outside, but also there are dogs that will never be happy inside small apartment. Another important thing is how much free time do you have? Do you work 12 hours a day or maybe you are retired and you will spend all day with your dog? This is another important thing you must consider because there are breeds that should not be left home alone for long periods of time. Choose your dog based on climate in your area because there are dogs that are suitable for hot weather and on the other hand of course there are dogs suitable for cold weather and there are dogs that are very versatile and can live in both. It's true that you can have Husky on Florida. I actually have a video on this channel about this topic. You can find a link in the description, but it's not ideal. I would recommend you to get a dog that fits well into your region. Now let's talk about the purpose of your future dog. Nowadays, most people are looking for amazing companions, but you might also be looking for guard and protector. Maybe you are a farmer and you are looking for amazing herding dog, and maybe you just need great hunting companion. There are dogs for everyone. You just need to determine what purpose your dog should have and find for certain breeds in that group. Do you have kids or other animals in your home? Because this is very important when choosing a dog. Some dogs are very bad with small kids and some breeds, especially the hunting one, might be tempted by other animals in your home and they might try to catch them or even kill them. If you do have kids and other pets in your home, then you should be looking for dogs dogs that are great for living with them. Again, I will show you some websites at the end of this video where you can look for certain breeds based on their qualities like friendliness to kids. Now you should somehow know what kind of breeds do you want in your life, but there are way more aspects to consider. Very important thing is how much time do you want to spend with your dog exercising? There are total couch potatoes who need only a few short walks a day, but there are also hyperactive breeds that will require tons of exercising. And of course, there is grooming. There will be people who will love to bath and groom their dog almost on a daily basis, and there will be people who will hate it. Luckily, there are breeds that will satisfy both groups. Also, make sure to check that your dream dog isn't barking, shedding, or drooling a lot, because this might be a big no for some people. Very important is to know if you have dog allergic member of your family. If the answer is yes, then you must choose from hypoallergenic dog breeds. Personality of your dog is very important. What I would recommend you is to choose three best temperament qualities your dog should have and choose a dog based on that. For example, you might be looking for a dog that is smart, playful and obedient, or I don't know, loyal, alert and protective. Just make sure that you know what you are looking for. 
Last thing I want to talk about is appearance of a dog because I think it's not very important thing but a lot of people is choosing dog just based on look. They just see this cute puppy and they must have him. I think it's a big mistake. The only two important things are size of a dog and length and type of his fur. You can choose from toy, small, medium, large and giant dog breed and from all kind of dog coat. Now you probably have tons of notes about your dream dog, but you don't know how to find perfect breed for you. You can go to dogtime.com, they have great characteristics of every breed and you can compare your notes with breed characteristics and find the perfect dog for you. But if you don't know what breed you want at all, you might try to take a dog breed quiz. There are tons of them. I prefer the one from dogtime.com again, but you can choose for example select dogbreed.com from the one from akc.org or vetstreet.com. You can find links to these websites in description. Okay, now I will show you how you can actually use these sites when you are choosing your dog. I will be using the dogtime.com because I think it's a perfect site for this purpose. And let's start it. I don't know, you saw some dog on the streets, you liked his appearance, and but you are not sure if it's a perfect dog for you. Well, let's say, for example, Australian cattle dog. And you know that you are looking for a family dog that will be easily trainable. Well, on dogtime.com you can find everything. They have extremely good characteristics. So you can see they have it's a star system, uh, five star extremely good, one star extremely bad. Now let's say affectionate with family, five star that's excellent for you, easy to train, five star that's excellent for you. And there are a lot more info about the dog. So if you are look, if you are want to be sure that some dog is right for you, just go to dogtime.com and see his characteristics. And now let's take the dog breed quiz. I was talking about. This is for people who have no idea what dog is best for them. So you can simply take a quiz and see. I will do the quiz with you right now so you will see how it works and you will see what are my perfect dogs. By the way, I have a Cocker Spaniel Matt, but I don't think he will be in the results. <laughs> Uh, so first question, which phrase best describes what you are looking for in a dog? Uh, family friendly dog. What size dog are you considering? I prefer medium dogs, but I think it's kind of limiting, so I will pick any size is fine. What comes closest to your ideal way to spend an hour with your dog? Taking a walk together. How smart would you like your dog to be? Uh, uh, smart enough to keep me on my toes. How much do you exercise? Occasionally? Uh, yeah, occasionally. Are you looking for your dog to be your jogging companion? Now and then, yeah, I'm jogging sometimes. How do you tend to react when a good friend starts telling you a story you've already heard? Smile and nod, mostly. How do you react when another driver cuts you off while you are on the highway, slow down and give him some space? Yeah, I'm not really aggressive. What kind of home do you have? Sadly, it's just a small apartment with no yard. What kind of amusement park ride best describes the energy in your home? Surprises, exciting. Yeah, Ferris wheel, ups and downs, but fairly predictable. Are you planning to bring a new baby? No. How old are the children in your, I don't have any children. Are you or is someone in your household or no one is allergic? Plenty of mental and physical exercise is essential for a happy dog. What arrangements are you planning to make for your dog during the typical weekday? Uh, I'll do my best, yeah. I can bring my dog to work, so it's not a problem for me. How would you, ra how would you rate your health? It's good. When it comes to spiffing, mm, nothing, nothing, yeah. How much does fur bother you? I don't mind a little bit. How much training? Uh, the basics are fine. What's your best guess at describing your future dog parenting style? Body or boundaries? 
boundaries definitely are you willing to train your dog to walk without a leash well i prefer if he can walk without a leash but i think it doesn't matter nowadays because we have all the flexi leashes so even if he's incapable of going off leash then i don't think it's that problem nowadays how much does drooling bother you yeah i can deal with it and i click see the results and you will see the best dogs for you so my best dogs are norfolk terrier cockapoo well cocker spaniel <laughs> i didn't expect that at least half of it yorkie poo schnoodle labradoodle yeah you can again click on every breed and see his characteristics closely so we talk about this yeah you can check every dog every dog breed and you have more dogs here for example passenger is uh, extremely good dog for me i would say yeah tell me in comment what was your result of dog breed quiz and if you agree with this result because as you can see choosing a dog is very hard decision and no one should do this for you now you probably understand why it's very hard for me to recommend you dog breed if i don't know nothing about your preferences i hope this video will help you with choosing the perfect dog for you if you liked it consider subscribing to this channel and check our social media links down in description see you in the next video